This week, Tamir Rice would have turned 18 years old, and that wasn't lost on the community or his mother, who spoke about that milestone today. Andrew Horansky is live on Public Square to explain. Hi, Drew. Hi, Lena. Well, we know this week Tamir would have been a man, while what we don't know is where life would have taken him. It is clear, though, that in his 12 years, he certainly left a mark, not just on the community, but the country. And today, the foundation that bears his name held a youth event at St. Martin de Porres in Cleveland, grab bags for kids, while Rice's mother, Samaria, had a message urging people to push for change, not through violence, but elected officials. It's no secret she isn't a fan of police unions, as she asked people to focus on what matters to them and use that to better the world. You know, this country is really in an uproar and um, I would hate to see it go up um, in an uproar and, you know, with all the protests out there and the vandalism and burning things down. I really don't want to see that for America. I hope the powers to be can... Um, come to their senses. But if not, you know, we're not our ancestors anymore. So um, I just encourage everybody that's fighting for justice out here, for the injustice of this country, make sure you all have a clear agenda. Well, here on Public Square today, art in some ways conveyed a very similar message. These images from the Voices of CLE Public Art Project. We've seen the mural on Rebel, with this today both beautifying the city and giving artists a platform in that same general area and same general way. And you can see that another platform here taking a live look on Public Square, a number of murals here today. You know, last weekend, Lena, we saw that beautiful Black Lives Matter mural stretching for several blocks along East 93rd Street, definitely a way that we are seeing art in our community, speaking loudly in a way, really, that words in many ways never could. We sure are. Thanks, Drew. It's beautiful.